Hey everyone, right now we are approaching a flooded beaver swamp. Right here we're going over a bridge, there's a river flowing pretty nicely, but right here there's another bridge, or maybe it's a culvert, and there's a lot of water sitting around here. That's definitely a culvert, yes it is. Very high water next to the road. It's gonna start going over pretty soon. Let me turn around once again and find a place to park. A lot of flooding here. This whole forest is about to die. I can see by these petrified trees, the beaver swamp always was here to an extent, but they're raising it up a lot. Somebody else has been unclogging this culvert. Just look at the giant pile over here. So what are we dealing with? That's unusual. Never seen a culvert like this before out in the logging forest. There's a lot of fish in there. Completely clogged, we can't see a thing in there. Nothing. Alrighty everyone, we're all set up. Woo! Thankfully the water here is not deep. We have a nice hard rocky bottom to walk on while we work. This shouldn't take that long. Here we go. tougher than I thought. 
really caked in there.
All right, everyone. We did a pretty good job. That'll get this to drain back about two feet. We should have been able to drain it back like three feet, but that beaver dam goes in quite a distance. It may need an excavator to deal with this. I might come back at some point when it's completely drawn back. Some of those sticks, like this white one up here, completely peeled, lets me know that beavers are probably still pretty active in the area. The swamp is gonna lose about two feet. It shouldn't take that long. Even though the swamp is huge, the majority of it is just tiny islands within the swamp because beavers are the ones who excavate around all the trees. The trees and stuff remain in little islands because it's a lot, a lot harder to go through all the roots. Let's look at the other side of the road. Wow, massive improvement. But you see the size of the culvert? That's a three foot culvert. I think it's really cool to have one like that. I've never seen one like that in an area like this. Really nice. Yeah, a few times I was pushing really hard with the rake, then it unexpectedly just boom. And that's when I hit my hand pretty hard. Doesn't hurt anymore though. No big deal. It's a lot of good flow. All right, everyone, this is a two hour update. Water's flowing a lot less. Check it out. We're still gonna drop back nearly a foot. Whole swamp is drying out. As you could see, before we started, there was barely anything coming out of the culvert. So it still has a lot of drawback to do. The rest of the swamp over here, it's all dropping back. Here's another culvert here. We will report this to area to the beaver trappers. We're back and we have a friend here. Already jamming it up. What has this beaver done overnight? Maybe this is a good place to put a camera. Got an active beaver. What has the beaver been up to? It looks like nothing yet, but they're getting ready. Where did that guy go? When they're under the water, they can go so gracefully you see no ripples at all. Can't believe he didn't give me an angry splash. Probably doesn't realize I'm the one who did this. I'm sure he's gonna start plugging this up again. Now that other culvert pipe is right here. Ooh, frog. Oh, look at that. Oh, another frog. Look at that. It's the water so low we can just like move some of it out like that. How deep is that? Oh my gosh. Can't even attempt this one. I'm sure I can move this out of the way and get something, but look what we have inside. Can you see that? The clog goes almost all the way through it. See how the beavers make all these little channels? They can just simply go through all these areas. It is very simple to pull apart when there's no pressure on it. This would have been a lot more difficult earlier. Yeah, I can't believe it. That goes all the way through. Let's look in the other end and see.
Yeah, they got debris all the way through this. Literally. So much debris in there. Let's try pulling some of these sticks out. Let's grab the rake. It's possible because it's a smooth pipe, we can create enough pressure to push all this out. All right, here we go. Let's see if anything happens. When that thing cracked, it blew my eardrum. Kind of hurts now. Slide, slide, slide. Come on. Nope, it's not going anywhere. The beavers have too much debris in the center of it. That's not coming out. But it's flowing better. Beavers will just push this back in there tonight. In a situation like this, before the trappers come out, the most important thing is as much draw down as possible before they plug it again. Because when they plug these tonight, it's going to take probably at least a week 
for this water level to get where it was and probably take multiple weeks for it to start crossing the road and washing it out. So this just buys the trappers time. All right, everyone, so maybe the beaver will build back tonight something in front of the camera. I just wanna make sure this camera is positioned correctly. Didn't look great when I looked at it from a distance. Ah, it looks fine. Maybe remove the top shim a little bit. All right, that should be fine. Hopefully no one takes that, because we are gonna leave two of them here tonight. See if anything happens. Maybe we'll get something, because we actually saw the beaver. If not, that's okay too. Beavers seem to become camera shy when there's a camera. It's very rare when I get them on camera, but the times I decide not to, there's a big dam there in the morning. Here comes an awesome truck! Hey everyone, we are back in the morning and we're gonna see what's on these trail cameras now. The reason my boots are there and the reason I'm walking barefoot is from another video, if you've seen it, I posted it not too long ago. We're here, we're doing this the same day. I just literally swam. I had to get up. My whole body was soaked in sludge from a beaver pond when I started draining it giant floating piles of stinky moose poop started coming over and I was covered in it as I was in the rapids and clogging it it was so gross but the beavers rose it pretty good I just jumped in here to take a bath and there's dozens of fish here. There's a big school of fish we're gonna see if they will eat anything I'm gonna see if I have anything that I can throw in there actually yes I have freeze-dried food I'm gonna try giving them a little bit of that now, the beaver trapper nosies are here. They're going to relocate them. I just talked to a park ranger asking if I was all right. Told him I'm a photographer of the beavers. Showed them how I have the camera set up. Now, over here is another camera that we set up. And yes, the beavers definitely plugged it. The water level is way up again. We're going to grab those two tr trail cameras and we'll time lapse whatever they may have got. Hopefully they were able to detect. I'm very confident with that one. Hoping this one wasn't too far away. Hopefully we have good footage of them coming back and forth. Those are drip drying. I'm drip drying. Every part of me is wet. I'm gonna be hanging out here for like 20 minutes. I'll do some trail camera editing standing up while I dry a little bit in the sun. Let me grab some of my freeze dried food and we'll see if the fish want any. If that doesn't make a beaver angry, I don't know what will. Ugh. So refreshing. Now this beaver chose the awesome spot. Before I jumped in, that water was crystal clear. Time to rinse off the big high boots. Come on. No? Really? There's dozens of pretty big fish in there. Oh, they almost went up for it, but something scared them. Oh, there they go. Now that they started, I bet they're going to go crazy. Oh, there's a bunch swimming over from other sections. As soon as they start nibbling, I bet the rest will all follow. Here, they can just have the whole bag. There. 
Now my hand's all sticky. I gotta wash it off. A few of them took bites. I guess they just don't like it. I guess they just don't like freeze-dried apples. Now, that freeze-dried food brings up a good example. You notice how the water has a current moving to the side? Now that they plug both of these culverts, I realized if we take a walk way down here, I hear rapids. I believe that it's spilling into the river over here somewhere. I believe it's spilling, which is a good thing. That means this road has a lot of time before it actually does flood over because that's going to be a big dam to construct and it's not going to go up very fast. But they do have enough water to work with. Very surprised that they got the water back up to about where we found it. Hopefully they get trapped soon so they still have a good two warm months to build before the hard winter. We're not going to be unclogging it again because it's actually kind of pointless. The beavers will continue to do this every single night until they're relocated to a good place where they can create a massive water reserve like this. Beavers are extremely beneficial to the environment. A beaver pond the deeper it is, the heavier it is, meaning it's forcing water down into the aquifers, keeping the surrounding forest alive. But beavers, when they build next to a road like this, can cause a major environmental impact if these culverts are unable to work during a storm. It will push out the road, and all this sediment is now going to be all over the forest and wreak havoc. Very beneficial creature. They can be worth millions of dollars in water storage if they're put in the right place. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.